G'day everyone. Thank you very much to everyone that supported me by purchasing these from the Audi Triple Five eBay store. Uh, it means a lot to get these product out there and it's really exciting because I've spent a bit of time developing this and it's a game changer for everyone out there who's lost these rubbers from the seat. So thanks again for purchasing them. You will get them in the mail shortly. They've all been sent now, um, which is terrific news. They've all got tr tracking orders on eBay as well, so you better sit there patiently until they get there, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> but you probably want to install them as soon as you get them. So I'm just going to just give you a quick revision on how to install these into the bike. Now, just uh, obviously you, you've lost these two or you've taken them out and then you want to install these, right? So there's this little hole that's built into, I don't know, it's part of the tank or something, that frame part there and this lug. And, you know, that just goes in. You line it up and you push it down just be firm with it and push it in and you can see that's in now and if I push that in see how it's not moving up and down or anything it's certainly in and that's good now sometimes when I print these the 3d printing tolerance might be out by a fraction of a millimeter um, so if you do have a bit of troubles pushing them in like this side is a little bit stiff um, just try some soapy water on that lug and then it will hopefully just slide in but if it's still a bit too stiff or you're not really strong enough to push it in like this side you can see here it's it's not in because it's moving all you need to do is just get a hammer and gently tap this part of it here just give it a couple of gentle taps and then it's pushed it into place so you can wiggle it again and make sure it's right in there and you can see now I'm pushing down that side it's not moving or anything it's in in its place now and they're not going to go anywhere they're going to stay there and your seat will sit on there and you'll you'll find that your off-road riding will just be amazing now because of that <laughs> um yeah but yeah quick update and a big shout out to everyone that's bought them if i ever run out on the ebay store and you are after some more of these just send me a message on ebay or instagram or facebook and i will um print some more off and relist them but I still have some more ready to go now and I'm just gonna update the eBay listing to sell them. And I've also made it so international buyers can purchase them as well. Um, you will have to pay for postage though if you're buying it from international um, countries. So just be mindful of that. Um, you might wanna get a few mates together and just do a big, big order batch or something to save you a bit of postage. Um, these are actually the, the, the test ones that I've had in the bike now for about 600 kilometers doing test rides, been off-road and everything. You can see the only, only damage, I guess you could call it, is the dust that is inside the pad itself. Uh, but it, it just looks brand new. Even the, that back there looks nice and shiny. And this is a brand new one that's just printed off. And you can see side-by-side -side comparison, pretty shiny. This is the test one, and this is the brand new one. So quite rugged, they actually last. I've, I've built them from a really good material. Actually, I, I'm feeling a bit generous. I'm just going to try and destroy one of these. <laughs> I've got the hammer and let's have a look. If I just hit this with a hammer. I've really given that a walloping and you know, it's not too bad. Got tiny little imperfections there and it hasn't fallen apart. So let's try some more hitting. And yes, look at that. It is built to last, I think. So yeah, I can't really complain. And yep, so that's it. Thanks again for all the purchasing of these and uh, good luck with your writing. Thank you very much, bye.